How, how are you feeling? What's the, what's the mood around the team right now? Mood's great, obviously. Before last night's game, obviously, we had to win the game and win a hockey game, so now we get to play for game seven. So everybody's positive, excited, and looking forward to tomorrow. Is any of this, I mean, given the home and home aspect to this and also how close some of these games is, has any of this felt inevitable that you that this was probably going to be where it went to? Well, it was sure looking like that after the first four, no doubt. But uh, again, I think the first first game of the series, we had a chance to win that game. Obviously, it was a one nothing game for us late in the game, and you know they scored late and then won an OT. But no, I think every game's up for grabs. And like I said, I hope the I hope the home ice changes tomorrow night. But uh, it's been a battle, and uh, we'll see where it goes. But both both you and Rod said repeatedly that you, you can't explain why the home team. No. At this point, is it worth trying to figure out? No, it isn't. It really isn't. Yeah. I mean, you do your thing. You prepare your team. You get your game plan. You know, you talk to your team a little bit about different stuff. I mean, matchups, stuff like that. But you know what? You go play the game. It's a game seven. Uh, you know, both teams are. They know what the consequences are, and both teams have, have played well. I mean, like I said, nobody expected Rod's team to play all those games, win all the games at home, and lose all the ones in the road. I think we won one game in the road. And both our teams have been good road teams all year long. So it's a battle. It'll be a great game tomorrow night, and hopefully we come out on top. Well, I mean, the one game you won on the road was an elimination game. Yeah, it was a huge game. It was like a, well, it was game six in Pittsburgh, but yeah. Why this team is so resilient? Pardon me? Why do you think this team is so resilient? Well, I'm, I'm one year with this team now, obviously, and I just think from day one we talked about, you know, getting up when you're down. and. Uh, you know, we've worked hard. We've never, I don't think there's many times we lost more than two games during the season. There might have been a few, but it seemed like every time we lost that second game, the guys battled back and they just find their ways to win. So we're a young team. We have a lot of fun and, uh, you know, they believe in themselves. So. What have you seen from Chesterkin? Chesterkin? He's been unreal. He's been, obviously, he's up for the for the most valuable player award and the Vesna award. and. He's been that great for us all year long, so we rely on him. He makes big saves for us at key times and gives us a chance to win every game we play, no matter who we're playing. Other than game five, you've been pretty happy with, with how you guys yeah. have played. Does, does that make it easier going into game seven, just knowing what you guys have to do to, to tap into that? Yeah, no, I mean, we haven't... We had a, probably one bad game in the Pittsburgh series we didn't like, and there was probably... Even the game five game was still up for grabs late in the hockey game. So, but we didn't play as well as we could have played. There's no doubt. So, no, I like I like our chance that we play real well. And uh, again, it's going to be uh, two good teams battling them. Do, do you believe in the concept of a, a favorite team, an underdog team? And if your team was the underdog, mm -hmm. just because game seven is in Carolina, mm -hmm. is that something your team can embrace? I I don't think our. I mean, personally, myself, I didn't look at us being an underdogs in the Pittsburgh series or this series. It doesn't. I mean, they finished in first place. We weren't that far behind in second place. I think it was two good teams. I think a lot of professional people look at it and say Carolina might have the edge there. A lot of people said that. And But me as a coach and our players, we don't believe that. We just believe that uh, if we play our best game, we'll win. Mm -hmm. Laffy's been good since probably f January, February. He's uh, he took another step. He's become a man. He's played a strong game, a physical game, and uh, he's getting results from it. So he feels real good about his game. And I know as a coach, I really like his game, the way he's played. Very competitive and, uh, you know, doing the right things with the puck. And so we're really happy with him. Is sometimes good coaching just having the personnel available. I mean, you get Barkley Goudreau back and with mm -hmm. his playoff experience, I mean, that can't help but... Yeah, no, it's... We didn't have a ton of injuries this year, you know, fortunately for us, but every time we did, somebody come up and stepped up and played a big role for our team, and that was really huge for our group. I mean, we're, like I said, we're a young team. We've got a lot of good young players in our team, but every time they got the opportunity, they took advantage of it, and I think that's the biggest thing with our team. When guys took the advantage of an opportunity, they stepped up and they did that role and they played it real good. How does it change things for, for that line or for your team in general, though, to have 
have him back for, for Game 7 and, and last night? No, he's huge. He's a face-off guy. He's a penalty kill guy. He's a guy that won the Stanley Cup, obviously, with, with Tampa Bay. So that's important for a group. And uh, he's a positive guy and a character guy, and he does all the little things right. And uh, he's a big leader in our dressing room. Do you guys draw on that experience from him? I hope they does? do. <laughs> That's what we got him for, and he knows it, and he's a good person. And uh, as a coach, I know I love having him in my lineup. And is there any chance of, of, of seeing uh, Sammy Blay tomorrow? <laughs> I, I assume not. But. No, there's no chance. I said that with good joke because I, I really thought it. <laughs>